so I just wanted to show you a couple of cases, or excuse me, a couple slides of what iron deficiency actually looks like on a blood smear because it's exceedingly diagnostic and you'll look absolutely brilliant if it's you diagnosing it. Um, so a few things you'll notice is that these red cells are very, very pale. They're not ghost cells, but they're very pale red cells. So these are all called, we would call this hypochromasia. So hypochromasia is very pale red cells. And then there's also numerous microcytes, which are small pale cells. So sometimes if you're not sure about something, you try and find a normal red cell, which realize if you don't know what normal is, this is hard. But let's say that this cell right here is a little bit more normal. It might actually be a little bit small. Um, and so when you look, you can see that there are there's a very small pale cell. There's a very small pale cell. Um, there's one as well. So there's many cells that are pale. And then there's actually some polychromatophilic red cells right here. They're a little bit bluer. And notice, remember, they should be larger cells. And they're the same size as everybody else's. So they're a really big clue. So we have small cells. We have very pale cells. And then we have some shape changes. Um, and so this right here, there's like a little fragment on there. That's actually called a keratocyte. Um, and these are just membrane abnormalities. Here's one as well. Um, same animal. So that's a schistocyte. So the red cell's been kind of ripped apart. That's an acanthocyte right here um, where the red cell um, membrane is abnormal. And these are all from the iron poor red cells kind of getting beat up within the blood vessels. So here's another polychromatophil. And again, it's not very large. Um, if we find a kind of more normal red cell in terms of color, there's one right there. And that's a more normal color, a normal, more normal size. So not all the red cells are small, but a lot of them are small. And certainly the polychromatophils are small, so that tells you. Those of you wondering, um, this cell right here is a nucleated red blood cell. Um, and I know it looks really similar to this cell, which is actually a lymphocyte. So that can be kind of hard to tell. So this was a great case. It was an iron deficiency case, um, and the animal had a bleeding GI neoplasm. So that's how we were able to diagnose it. Not a great diagnosis, but you can you know that's what it is if there's no ectoparasites, um, and it's an adult dog. You have a pretty good idea um, that that's what's going on even before you do the ultrasound.